Welcome to Edumon. Hello guys, this is Sindhu and today our topic is Otto Hoffman process. Carbonization of coal. It is nothing but the process of strong heating of coal in the absence of air and converting it into coke. It is nothing but carbonization of coal. And this is of two types if you want to know. That is a lower temperature carbonization and high temperature carbonization. Low temperature means it is heating it uh, at um, 500 to 700 degrees Celsius. And uh, because of this, no smoke is produced. And But yield of coke is 75 to 80 percent only. This coke is used for the domestic purpose. Whereas the high temperature carbonization means heating coal at 900 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Here smoke is produced but Yield of yolk is 65 to 75 percent and the coke is used for the metallurgical purposes. Uh, it's not important. We have to know what is the main thing of carbonization of coal and what we'll get from the carbonization of coal. Carbonization of coal is nothing but just heating of coal in the absence of air to get coke and our main topic is coke here. So what is coke? When coal is heated strongly in the absence of air, it is converted into lustrous, dense, porous and coherent mass known as coke. And this process of converting the coal into coke is known as carbonization, which we have already learned. And now what is metallurgical coke? Metallurgical coke is nothing but when bitmanious coal is heated strongly in the absence of air, the volatile matter escapes out and the mass becomes hard porous coherent which is called metallurgical coke and uh, what are the characteristics of a uh, good metallurgical coke or purity the moisture ash sulfur porous contents in the metallurgical coke should be low and porosity coke should be highly porous so that oxygen will have intimate contact with carbon and the combustion will complete and uniform strength. The coke should be very high, which have very high mechanical strength in order to withstand the high pressure of the overlaying material in the furnace. And combustibility. The coke should burn easily. And calorific value. It should be very high. Reactivity. It should be low because reactive cokes produce high temperature of combustion. It may, it's may be dangerous and cost. It should be cheap and readily available. Manufacture of metallurgical coke. Many two types of ovens are used for metallurgical coke production. They are beehive coke oven process and Otto Hoffman byproduct method. First one is bee, uh, beehive coking. It is not in our syllabus, but we have to, uh, we'll have a small view. See, beehive process is nothing but it will have a dome shaped one. And uh, here we will have a coal. And it will have some. See, the top we will have the charging door from which we will give the coal. And it will be heated. And from here, the gases will be released. And because the gases are releasing, it will cause us a lot, a large amount of pollution. And because of this, it is a drawback. And also, carbonization process proceeds from top to bottom, and we can't recover any byproduct. And large cooking time, it will take a large cooking time, and coke yield is of 60%. And these are all the demerits. So, we will consider byproduct coking. That is nothing but Otto Hoffman byproduct by method. Here, the air is excluded so that no burning takes place within the oven. And heat is also supplied from few uh, hot flue glasses. Uh, that is nothing but uh, regenerative principle of uh, economy. So, these are the merits of uh, byproduct uh, coking. So, we will uh, see. The next one is, we will see about Otto Hoffman byproduct method. 
Otto Hoffman process. What is Otto Hoffman process and why are we using Otto Hoffman process as the main method for carbonization process? Otto Hoffman process is used because it is to increase the thermal efficiency of carbonization process. We'll get good form of a cook and to recover various byproducts. It's nothing but in any process, we will do the same same thing that is carbonization. But here we can also recover the byproducts which is which are be which will be useful. And heating is done on the basis of regenerative system of heat economy by using waste fuels for the heating purpose. And the fuels which are wasted will also be used for the heating purpose. So it is cost effective, right? It is it, it is good process. Construction, the oven consists of a number of silica chambers and each uh, chamber, chamber is nothing but this one. See this one, this box, a rectangular box is, these are chambers and chamber is about 10 to 12 meters long, 3 to 4 meters height and 0 0.42 to 0 0.45 meters wide. We have to remember this uh, dimensions and you have to write what is chamber and uh, what are it parts chamber is provided with the charging hole at the top and it is also provided with the gas of take for anything we will have charging hole because we are giving the coal and gas of take because we are taking the fuel uh, waste gases from out and we will take the output see our main thing discharging coke will be taken from the iron door at the end see this is the construction it is very easy and you have to remember and write now the process it is the process of manufacturing of coke by otto hoffman process and see this is the diagram of otto hoffman process and see here the coal coal is given and this is uh, we are uh, coal charging cars and here the coal is taken and it is crushed it is crushed and in these charging pits and gets activated in these charging pits the coal is crushed and gets activated and now this coal will be taken into these chambers this these are silica chambers when these silica chambers are fully filled then the air and producer gases are passed through it will burn them at a certain temperature that is high temperature 1200 celsius see here we have bricks right these are bricks these are bricks and these bricks or nothing but hot regenerators hot regenerators or we will always call regeneratory uh, regeneratory bricks and uh, these will take the observe the temperature see because of the temperature coal is burned and coal gas is produced from the silica chambers and the coal which is at 2 comma 3 chambers is burned first and 1 comma 4 curl is burned later after one reaction coal is released coal gas after one reaction coal gas is released coal gas is released and then see the gases which are wasted the waste gases will come out from the waste chimney how they will come out they will come out through these through what they will come out they will come out through the bricks these are the regeneratory bricks and they will observe the temperature they take temperature up to like a thousand celsius see they are taking a large amount of temperature right and now when we are giving see the process is repeated and again we will have to give some temperature that is a now it is not 1200 degree celsius because they already see these bricks already have 1000 degree celsius so 
we can give less amount of uh, temperature now we have to give uh, only less amount of temperature and we ha also have to release air and uh, producer gas now the remaining part of the chambers uh, coal in the chambers will be will be burned and this process will continue it means we will give some uh, temperature and uh, air and producer gas and they will be burned and uh, some of the coal will be converted into coke and coal gas is released and uh, waste gases will be come out from the chimney and when they are coming from the chimney they will uh, they will just uh, they left out uh, the thousand degrees temperature or the, tem the highest temperature they will leave the temperature in the regeneratory bricks and due to this temperature next time when we are giving a uh, temperature and uh, air and producer gas we can only give the less amount because we already have preheated temperature here so in this way it becomes easy see right we, uh, we have to we don't have to give high high temperature every time and finally coal is converted into coke and while heating coal is converted into coal gas and this coal gas is also taken away and coke that is formed is passed through the ram coke pusher see here see here this is the ram coke pusher and it is passed through here and uh, taken through the coke chambers coke chambers these are the coke chambers and we it is taken here and see meanwhile the coal gas is released and is passed through different chambers to get byproducts see from the time uh, from the time at which uh, they are uh, taken that is nothing but uh, uh, coke is formed and uh, from the time coke is formed and uh, up to the time the coke is taken out in between these the coal the coal gas is released and this coal gas will pass it through different different types of chambers to get byproducts and this is the process and next one is uh, how we will get by products see we already discussed from this point to up to this point and now we are going to discuss uh, remaining ones for the economical heating the direction of the inlet, inert gas inlet gases and flue gases are changed frequently because at first two three chambers are heated and the next one two chambers are heated so we have to change in order to make it economical heating and then the above system of recycling the fuel gases to produce the heat energy is known as regenerative system of heat economy this is very important and you have to mention it you have to mention it in your uh, exams and uh, when the process is complete coke is removed and quenched with water here you also have to add uh, two more points that is nothing but about uh, uh, types of quenching that is water quenching uh, wet quenching and uh, dry quenching wet quenching is nothing but when carbonization is done a massive ramp pushes red hot coke into the truck which is quenched by water spray this is called wet quenching and uh, when it comes to dry quenching it is uh, the red hot coke is placed in the chamber and uh, passed uh, and the inert gases are passed from the boilers in this way dry quenching is done we prefer dry quenching than the wet quenching because coke produced by the dry quenching is cheaper drier and contains lesser dust than the wet quenched one so we prefer only dry quenched coke and the time taken for the complete uh, carbonization is about uh, 12 to 20 hours and in some textbooks we'll also have it as uh, 11 to 18 hours and the yield of coke is about 70 percent and the valuable byproducts uh, we can obtain by the next process that is uh, recovery of uh, byproducts recovery of byproducts and here it will be in the form of in some order that is we have to write in an order that is tar t for tar a for ammonia and uh, n for naphthalon b for benzene and h for hydrogen sulfide you have to remember in a form tan bh tan bh 
okay and the gas coming out from the oven is known as coke oven gas it consists of so many byproducts that is ammonia tar naphthalene benzene hydrogen sulfide etc and the recovery of tar first one the gas is passed through a tower in which liquor ammonia is sprayed that is liquor ammonia liquor ammonia is sprayed and tar and dust gets dissolved and gets collected in a tank below and the tank is heated by steam coils to recover ammonia and similarly for recovery of ammonia the gases from the chamber are then passed through another tower in which water is sprayed and ammonia dissolves and gets collected as nh4oh and recovery of naphthalene the gases are again passed through a tower where cooled water is sprayed and then here naphthalene gets condensed and it is recovered and recovery of benzene here the gases are passed through another tower containing petroleum and benzene gets condensed and last one is recovery of hydrogen sulfide the remaining gases are passed through a purifier packed with moist Fe2O3 and then hydrogen sulfide is retained the last one is recovery of coal gas and uh, coal gas is used as fuel gas recovery of by products tar ammonia naphthalene benzene hydrogen sulfide we already discussed and you have to write in this way you, you should not miss this order t a n b h tan b h you should not miss this order because you have to do only in this format at the last you have to mention the advantages advantages of otto hoffman process uh, valuable by products are recovered carbonization time is less and heating is done externally by producer gas okay we done with the uh, otto hoffman process and uh, in which way you have to write to score seven marks means otto hoffman process why are we using otto hoffman process and uh, diagram and then working it means how it is recovered how it is uh, see i already said that whole process right so that is working and then recovery of uh, by products and at the last you have to mention the advantages in this way you have to write and in uh, recovery of by products you should not miss the order tan bh okay remember that okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching this is sindhu kari and please subscribe to edimon